Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of things cooking for uh, for Phoenix Blue, so definitely uh, look out for that. Uh, it's going to be a fun tournament. But we are in game one now on Battlefield. Wait, I didn't see their stream yet. Oh, right, I Sarah definitely started. started streaming. Yep. Oh, sorry. You go ahead. It's solo comms for, for not from now on. No worries. So far, it looks like uh, Sfera has a decent lead here, but of course, first stock, anything can happen. Telman now has a chance to build a little combo here. Only finding soft hits, really. It's kind of unfortunate, but that strong hit could Ooh. put him in a nice position. That Nair to get back to stage was so clutch from Sfera, and now he's actually in a favorable position here. Yeah, Telman has to find the stock pretty quick. Oh, not able to find the forward tilt there. Got clipped by the Nair. And now Sphere is going to be tacking on some damage. Wow. Oh, a wow, lot of damage. That scoop was so great. Also getting the uh, the tech mix up. Wow. Sphere playing really well. This is going to be tough for Telman. Yeah, Telman manages to get Sphere off stage, but... Oh, a nice needle as well. Uh, I feel like he should commit a little bit more to edge guarding here. Yeah, you can go a little bit deeper against Falcon. Of course, you're scared of the uh, the hug, but either way, Falcon's recovery yeah. is pretty telegraphed. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, man. It feels it feels like uh, he's kind of dropping the ball in, on these edge guards so far. Although Sveta is, of course, really good at recovering, so it. Nice cross up by Sveta there, getting the grab. Doesn't get much off it. Oh, okay. Surprising grab there from Telman. I was really sure Sveta was going to get that grab. But... Yeah, same. My eyes even tricked me. I thought he had it. Maybe it was a rollback. True, one of the famous rollbacks that it is named for. And oh! So, oh my god. Telman is playing. So, oh, Telman, I mean, Sphere is playing so well. <laughs> That's such a mean thing to say in the middle of a set of game beat. He's playing so well right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Telman. Please don't watch this back. Oh, but that's nice, getting him off stage, and again, now uh, going to pop up again. Yeah, it looks like Tumman needs to clean up these edge guards a little bit, letting Svera get back a bit too easily, living pretty uh, high percent. Great sweet spot from Sveta. Again, he's still living 140, 150. Finally, this should be a kill, right? Yeah, okay, there mm -hmm. it is. But two stocks to one and a little bit of percent on Tumman. It's going to be tough for Tumman to get back. Oh my god, he gets a jab reset with the rapid jabs. I'm just going to hit that up air. Now Telman is way out. Yeah. Yeah. He, he caught his jump somewhere in that little combo, and uh, that's going to do it for game one. Uh, so far, Sveta is looking good. Yeah. Pretty all right. I mean, of course, uh, we'll see what happens in the next game because I think we're going to FOD. It would make a lot of sense considering Falcons typically have a lot of issues there, and we might see Sveta struggle to kind of deal with uh, Telman on that stage. But for that first yeah. game, I mean, that was pretty dominating. So it looks like you, looks like you were right for the first time. Yeah, ever, dude. I'm so happy. Ooh. Okay, quite lucky there from Telman. He got away with those down smashes because those weren't very safe. But this is all pretty nice. Tacking wow. quite a bit of damage already. Uh, I feel like Telman is just not playing as hot as he was playing earlier. Or maybe oh, Svede that's... is just is just uh, forcing him to not play well. Which is also yeah. a possibility. Ooh, F smash there. That is looking like a flub. Tumman has to close this stock out in a sec. He got a really nice start on this game, but now he's at a dangerous percentage. Oh, this could just be stuck. Good the eye on the up air. Oh, okay. it's yeah. the edge guard, and now it's Tumman's turn. This should be the stock. Yeah, nice of them by Tumman there to find the reverse fair to set that up, because that's kind yep. of tricky in that situation. What do you go for, you know? Sfera manages to get Telman off stage, and now, okay, yeah, if, if, if Sfera can get to ledge before Telman has a chance to get back, uh, it's a little bit more dangerous, like here, you know? Because, oh, I was going to say the knee would work, but it ended up not working in the end. Just a little slow. Wow. Yeah, the Becker's going to do it. Okay, so now it's back to even, basically. Oh, great opening for Telman, but he... Another stomp from Sfera's going to get him out of there. Ooh, Talman building something here. Continues the tech chase as well. And ooh, oh, goes for the... Oh. <laughs> Yo, that DI mix-up, that was so smooth. Talman playing well now. Yeah, that was uh, quite a change of pace from what we saw before, but 
unless he can get some damage off on the stock, it might be all for naught, because Sfera is looking like oh, it's going to take no this. Jump. That's going to do it. Wow, Sfera evened it back up immediately. Yeah. Looking like a close game. Although, I do feel like Telman is getting into his comfort zone a little bit more right now. Yeah, that uh, that weak bear really said a lot. <laughs> oh no, but this says even more! <laughs> uh, as I say, maybe this is his true comfort zone, you never know. True, maybe it's Zelda man, you know? <laughs> Ooh, okay. You can never tell. He gets away with it. Pretty unscathed, actually. Yeah, that was... I mean, lucky he managed to shoo Svera away there. Literally. Yeah, true. Oh! Ooh. Okay. Gets the burn, okay, the poop. Oh. Interesting. I really didn't think the hitbox was still out, but quite lucky for uh, for Telman. Or maybe it was uh, all intended, you never know. Yeah, nicely done by Telman. They're crouching to actually avoid the hitbox of the move and then uh, down tilting Falcon out of it. That really should have been an up air, I think, to I send did. Telman off, but I mean, Sweater still closed out the stock, so it's even again. Yeah. Same situation. Nice power show by Telman in the corner. That was dangerous. If he missed that, that would have been a really bad situation. Telman staying patient here, throwing up more tilts in neutral, just trying to catch Falcon with something that's a bit more guaranteed. And wow. nicely done, yeah. That's going to do it. Second game goes to Telman. One of one. Man, I feel like this is going to be a game five, man. Telman picked it up from last game. First game, Sveta was kind of dominating, but now. Telman's gonna Telman is gonna tell him. Yeah. The scary thing is if Severa picks up on these uh, on the fact that he's not going quick enough for the knee edge guards on the uh on Sheikah covering the stage, if he tunes into that and starts actually like going fast enough, it's gonna be a lot harder for Telman because there were a few situations there where it could have easily been like heavily in Severa's favor if he had gotten that edge guard. Yeah. It looks like we're going to oh. FD now. Yo, this is exactly what you mean mean. Oh no. Yeah, FD is of course also a classic counter pick in this matchup, and he doesn't have a jump, so he's probably not coming back from this. Yeah, it's fair. Start only 13% now, it's gonna be rough. Ooh, wow. nicely done by Sfera, not getting too antsy there, waiting for the tech. Oh, he's playing really patient now, keeping Telman in the corner, but Telman now has an opening. Oh, and he, he popped him up oh. with the downer? That was a big brain downer. And Yo, the up air. Okay. Oh my god. Telman is playing so well with these DI mix-ups, and I can't believe he actually connected that down air in between the nair. Yeah, that was a pretty nice mix-up there. Oh, what? and here he managed and he... to get the stomp in the knee. Wow, okay, so Telman actually clipped on the stage. I really didn't expect him to get on stage, but then Sparrow is actually ready for it. Oh, managed to pop up, gets fared, uh, forward tilted though. <laughs> the oh, spacing what? on that, just walk up right next to Sheik for the up tilt and just run back afterwards. Yeah, those tilts were kind of antsy as well from Telman. Yeah, and Sfera just picking up that knee in neutral there is going to close out that stock. And now, two stocks down, it's going to be very difficult for Telman to do this. Tech Chase opening up here doesn't quite get much off of it. And another Tech Chase opportunity. Ah, uh, Telman's just undershooting a little bit too much and not getting any of these hits. Sfera is spacing very well outside of these hitboxes. Wow, gets another up air clip. Another stomp knee is going to do the trick, yeah. and that's going to do it for game three. Nice done by Sfera. They're picking it back up for game three. I mean, like we said in game two, FOD, it's kind of a rough stage for Falcon. We sort of expected there'd be some uh, problems. But FD for Sheik is just uh, the same story, basically, for Falcon on FOD. It's a really difficult for Sheik to get anything done on that stage. Yeah, so, and if you uh, if that actually tells us how the set is gonna go, it looks like Sfera is gonna take it because the FD FOD game was super close while the FD game was a blowout, really. Yeah, exactly. So with counter pick advantage, Sfera is in the driver's seat for this set. Oh, but this could be a huge opening for Telman. No, he doesn't get the right send off there. Oh, and he dies no. as well with the getting off ledge with the fair. That's unfortunate. <laughs> That's not how you want game four to go. Except if you're Sveta. True. Ooh! But Telman evened it right up. Back to even. Yeah, not looking so hard now. I mean, 
really is unfortunate when you lose one of those first stocks in a crucial game like that, but Talman held it together. It could also uh, be a blow to the mental if you still win this game for the uh, other opponent, because that's basically like a stock he didn't even need. True, they'd be in shambles. Sphera does close that one out though at 60% himself. And so many X mashes this set. I'm not sure. I'm 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 pretty sure Talman is flubbing here, but again, I'm not not entirely sure. It could be. Uh... Yeah, they might be dash attacks or jump cancel or boost grabs maybe. Um, or even both. forward tilts. I mean, if you're going for forward tilt with the uh, stick, sometimes it's tricky. Yep. Whoa! Nice tech chase by Svera. Oh, and he finds the double up air to send off Telman. Is the stomp he gonna do it? No, he actually goes for a reverse knee. Yeah, and snipe the ledge as well. This is a fancy stock. Like, he's pulling all these tricks that were, were not entirely necessary, but you know, appreciate it. Yeah, them. I mean, he barely misses all of these knees, but still he's in complete control. So it's not gonna do, it's not gonna be too bad. And Telman actually threw the stock away. Yeah, Telman had a chance there with the, uh, with Svera trying to come up with a knee and misreading the fact that he was actually too far out. Yeah, Sarah is looking to take it, man. He's playing so well. Another fort smash from Telman. Yeah, but both hits landed that time, so it makes you wonder if that one was intentional. Just because it hit. <laughs> just because it hit, yeah. <laughs> oh, Telman, I thought he was going to go high there. I thought he had the read on the uh, recovery, but at least cleans it up, you know, back to even now. Yeah, at high percents, you don't really need to read because you can just get the follow up on the landing leg. True, true. Talman trying to wall Sphera out here, keep him in the corner. It's a pretty bad spot. Wow. It's not going to be a no jump oh either. My God, he... Oh my god. Randall. Oh, but Randall. If, if Sphera wins this now, this is going to be a godsend for him. Oh my god, this oh, might just be it. Stage. Stomp knee. knee. No, oh, reverse one. Oh my that god. That was a flashy way to end it, I have to say. But uh, well done to Sphera. Very unfortunate that Randall was there for Talman. Of course, for Sphera, it was the best part of the set, probably. <laughs> yeah, that was like the cherry on top for Sveta, and oh my god, did he end it in, I mean, not completely stylish, but at least he um, he didn't just do the stomp knee combo, well, he also added in a, a little bit of a uh, up air, but that was probably necessary for percentage.